How's it going guys? My name is Trevor and today uh, we are back here with some more NBA 2K19, the first video of rebuilding series. So before I begin, I did record this and my microphone was not recording the audio. So I'm actually doing a voiceover of uh, this recording. This will hopefully not happen again. I really apologize for that. I was recording literally thinking, oh, it's recording my voice, but it wasn't. So yeah, now I have to sit here and basically talk over base of what I did so that it's not just like a video with music playing in the background. So um, if you guys don't see the title already, I decided to do a rebuild of the Los Angeles Lakers. And the rules of this basically are you get three seasons, you try to build a title contender, you try to win a championship, that's the goal. And other than that, that's pretty much it with the rules. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I do want to say sorry for not uploading a lot uh, in the uh, recent summer. I kind of just like gave up on uploading. Um, yeah, so, uh, which kind of stinks, but it happens. It is what it is. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm going to try to upload more such as like videos like this. I'm going to upload 2K content. I wanted to do NBA Live 19, but then NBA Live 19 crashed. So, yeah, uh, unfortunately, no NBA Live 19 for the time being until potentially after I go back home from being at school. So basically what I'm doing right here, I was uh, looking at the roster, uh, the Lakers roster. And if you guys need to pause and see it, um, I was looking to trade some people, but a lot of the Laker contracts are expiring, so which was pretty sweet. Um, but there was one trade that I wanted to do, and it was to look for offers for Brandon Ingram, which I'm about to do right here. And um, it's funny though the, the trade logic in this game. So you could get some, you could get some pretty decent players. Like for example, right here, I just got Victor Oladipo and Darren Collison for basically Brandon Ingram, a first round pick, and Kentavious Caldwell Pope. So, um, I, I was doing this up before just for fun and I, I could trade Porzingis to get Ben Simmons. Like you shouldn't be able to get Ben Simmons. Um, there's a couple other crazy trades that happen, uh, later on in the video. Well, not too crazy, but, uh, just, it's definitely the trade logic in this game is a lot different than it has been in, uh, previous two Ks. I feel like, I don't know if it's better. I don't know if it's worse. I mean, you guys can let me know in the comments what you think. So basically here, I'm just going over the rotations. Um, there's also a new thing here. Where if you adjust it, you can see what players, like, would you rather play the younger players more? Would you rather focus on contending? So I feel like that was a pretty cool option that they put in. So there's a lot of new options in, uh, in my league. Um, for one thing, actually, that I noticed a lot that I did talk, I did mention this in the video uh, that you guys can hear was that the simulation goes really quick like super quick like that quick <laughs> now maybe not that quick but what i mean like it goes by really really quick so uh for example um <clears throat> excuse me so basically for example uh let me see if i can do this with the audio and then do that with the video okay yeah that's perfect it's a little bit out of sync but we'll figure it out i could it's not a big deal like i said I'm not doing it live. Um, so just basically going with the words. Giannis is basically a beast in this game. Um, I got LeBron James on All-NBA First Team, which is pretty cool. Um, so other than other than the fact that uh, the simulation's quick, there's a lot of other different things. Like um, Besides the, I know, you know, the layout, the UI design. The gameplay too is really awesome. Like honestly, like it, the game looks super nice. Now, also, I'm on PC, so I'm playing like on 4K with like a monster computer. So it's pretty freaking awesome. Like the graphics. Uh, Victor Oladipo also got all the defensive first team, which is pretty nice. I think LeBron James got all the defensive second team, if I remember correctly. So he had pretty good stats. Um, uh, yeah, LeBron James got all the all defensive second team, and then I think we yeah we didn't have a rookie though. Um, and then we were playing, uh, Dallas in the first round. So I'm going over to show the statistics. So yeah, I mean, gameplay is a bit different. I haven't played my player in like so long. I might be tempted to play it this year. Um, I did buy NBA live 19. Uh, I think I mentioned that earlier in this uh, recording 
and I tried to record a video with it and it crashed. So definitely be on the lookout for that. If not now, definitely later on in the year uh, when I get back home from college and I actually don't have to use TeamViewer <laughs> to record, which is really funny that I had to literally download Team Recorder, Team Viewer, excuse me, not Team Recorder, Team Viewer, so that I can actually see what's going on on my desktop while I play the game. So we got eliminated in six games against the Dallas Mavericks. Um, so basically, I just simulate the playoffs here. This was the end of the first season, and uh, I think uh, I don't remember exactly. I think Golden State, yeah, Golden State swept the Celtics. And Stephen Curry was your finals MVP. So that was pretty pretty intense. And then here, I'm basically just clearing up some cap. Uh, I traded those two guys and a first round pick, the Warriors, for two future picks that aren't really that valuable regardless. So um, also, another thing, another weird thing about this game is that since I'm on PC, the draft classes are not that great. <laughs> so at least... As of now, they're not too great. Um, maybe in the future they will be, uh, but we'll see. Um, basically, I'm just going over free agency here. Uh, Kevin Durant's on the market, Kyrie Irving. Uh, free agency is pretty good. DeMarcus Cousins, Clay Thompson, Jimmy Butler, Carl Anthony Towns. I know Kawhi Leonard wasn't able to hit free agency. I would have signed him. In uh, NBA Live, he hits free agency, which is pretty sweet here it looks like the Raptors lock him up so it looks like he wants to be here which is good on him good on good on Kawhi Leonard good good for you showing loyalty after forcing your way out of San Diego uh, not San Diego out of uh, whatever that place is called San Antonio <laughs> crap anyways yeah <laughs> so I tried to get Kevin Durant here but I could not afford him so I had to go with the next best option after Kevin Durant um, you'll see it, but it'll say I can't afford him. Uh, he didn't even want to talk to it because it was a little less of a max. I tried to go for Kyrie Irving, um, and Kyrie Irving was listening, but he was just going to go back to the Celtics. I mean, I don't blame him. He tried to leave LeBron once, why would he want to join him again, you know? Uh, so, but yeah, no, I mean, honestly, though, I like the way this game plays i definitely it's definitely better than 2k18 um for one thing the soundtrack is better it ain't better than live i feel like live soundtrack is better than nba 2k18s but and i say but i the gameplay like it, it, it's the atmosphere overall like I, I i i just enjoy playing 2k more than i do playing live and i know i'll still play live but at the same time it's just you you feel it. You feel it in the commentary. You don't think like the commentary and the presentation of the game is that important, but for a sports game, it really matters. Like if you if you ever watched, I don't know, like Joe Buck during the World Series, like it, he's not bad, but like it's just imagine like a better announcer announcing like a sports game. If you've ever had any really boring announcements, like for okay, for example. I like watching the... I'm a Yankees fan. I think Michael K does a pretty good job of keeping people in the game, like... But then there's some people that just, like, make me want to fall asleep. <laughs> I, you know. So, I, I don't really know. Like, for the most part, like, I'm not really like that. Like, I just enjoy watching sports. But I know that there are a lot of people out there that hate commentary that is just makes the game boring, so... Uh, so, basically, I went after DeAndre Jordan and Carl Anthony Towns. Obviously, the... Timberwolves are gonna match, so then I ended up. Uh, there was a little bit of a weird thing that was going on. I actually I was confused for a sec, but then I realized, oh, I have to decline uh, Carl Anthony Towns, and then I was able to get DeAndre Jordan. So we signed DeAndre Jordan, which was a nice acquisition for us. Um, nice defensive center that we could use. I think he'd fit along with Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball, you know, facilitator LeBron James. It's also 99 overall, which is pretty sweet. Uh, at the age of 34, he is still killing it, which is pretty nice. Um, we signed a few other minimum players as I just go over through the roster. Nothing too special, just waiting for the uh, next season to begin. That was really my goal. Kind of stinks, you know, that I'm having to record this again, but it could be worse. Um, 
as, as it pertains to like it, everything could have just literally broke and then I'd have to record the whole video again and I don't really have time for that <laughs> yeah so uh, just going over the coaching settings showing over the game plan and basically we simulate to the next season or the end of the season at least the end of the second season and I think we had a better record I don't know if we had a better record than we did last year um well last season I don't remember exactly what it was but it, it, it's weird though like simulating this because you there's no like social media that you could be following or you could see like the standings progress they really minimized it and they just focused on like the speed of the simulation like i'm telling you i i don't remember how long it took to simulate seasons in like nba 2k18 i might have taken like 10 minutes i think that time is cut in half now again i'm also on pc which could make a difference like it probably does make a difference um but in addition to that also <laughs> uh besides playing on pc and having better specs and stuff uh it does get a little noisy so um i did bring that up in my video like if you guys do hear it um i apologize for that in advance it's just my pc but if not awesome so lebron james ended up having a really good year and he made all defensive first team or second team and he made all be first team as per usual um i think i know this was the year no, was this the year that uh was this this i don't think that was the season that anyone else made it like um what's his face lonzo went 50 and 32 which that wasn't i think we went 54 and 28 the previous season something like along those lines and uh, i'm just basically showing the stats so oladipo was actually pretty good i think uh oladipo uh was maybe the second best player in this uh in this uh video uh, maybe not overall wise but from his play, it seemed that he might have been the second best. Um, maybe hinting at a future trade that does happen. I'm not too sure. Uh, you guys have to wait and watch out. Uh, wait or skip ahead. Don't skip ahead. Don't ruin the surprise. Just be surprised. So, uh, yeah, those are the rotations we were going with in the playoffs. And I think we were taking on, if I remember correctly, we were taking on the Utah Jazz. And I simulated the current round, and I was expecting to get out of the first round. I also, yeah, I tried to see the team, if I could be able to see the teams, because you used to be able to do that in TK18, but here you can't. At least I don't know if you guys know. Let me know in the comments how you can preview your team. But we lost in six in the first round again. So I was a little upset about that. Because it was a bit of a failure. I mean, you know, we got the second seed, we got the third seed two years in a row, and we didn't even get to the second round or even progress. We just kind of stayed the same. We actually regressed in a sense that we had a four to six worst game record, and then the Rockets beat the Bucks four to three in the NBA Finals. Uh, so basically, here I'm looking for trades, just testing out the uh, the trade finder. So I think I do a move for, I think it's Victor Oladipo now. I think I do him and DeAndre Jordan. Uh, I think DeAndre Jordan might have been first. I also did LeBron James just because obviously I can't trade LeBron. First of all, his salad is too much. But I think I tried going with DeAndre Jordan and DeAndre Jordan, well, uh, eventually when this video actually, you know, shows I'm actually having to watch and record at the same time, so it might be a little out of sync. If it is, I'm sorry. But there we go. I got an offer for Paul George. I looked for any other offers, but there was no other offer that was better than that. And I said, yeah, Paul George costs more money, but it's Paul George, and I wasn't going to sign a big free agent anyway. And I thought, well, let's make a splash and see if I can get, like, a second soup, like star. Now, I mean, again, granted, Oladipo is that second star but i said you know what paul george might be a little bit better and i traded a first round pick and i got a second round pick in return that really didn't matter because like i said drafts class in here are weird i feel like there was a bug in here but i'm not really sure 
but I saw it fly by me. So then I traded for the third pick, and just because I wanted the third pick, and I tried to package that, I think, and I couldn't find any offers. So, <laughs> yeah, I kind of stunk. Basically let the CPU draft for me, and then I think they drafted that guy, Hicks, and then uh, obviously I retained all four of those guys. The youngins, uh, Lonzo Ball was definitely progressing really well, becoming a really good player, which is what you want to see from your young guys. Um, and then I go into uh, qualifying offers, see if we had anybody we didn't. Free agency, Ben Simmons is a restricted free agent, so that's pretty neat. Um, it'd be really cool if I could like actually trade for Ben Simmons. I would honestly, I kind of want to do the Warriors because I want to see like exactly what you could get if you trade all those guys. Like you could probably get like some really good young pieces. Like you could definitely get like Ben Simmons, Jason Tatum. I feel like, um, well, depending on the salaries match, I, because of the salaries, it might not work. Um, maybe Demarcus Cousins though would work because he's only making like mid-level exception in this game, I think, or he should be. Um, but uh, yeah, so I here's me just trying to figure out free agency. And there was something also new about free agency in the sense that there's more tabs. So you have these these affordable options now. So basically you can give a contract to players that have, are expecting lower salary. So they're more affordable, more team-friendly contracts. So that was an interesting interesting thing but I don't know if I cut it out or not but there was yeah I might have there was a bit of a glitch where I tried to sign like uh these players that said they want a minimum like money and then they were asking for 12 million dollars so it really didn't make any sense um and this was this was definitely a really good team like it ended up like we have Bron James Paul George oh did I like not put the DeMar DeRozan trade in the video. Yeah, if I didn't, I thought I did. Maybe I skipped over it while I was talking. But I traded for DeMar DeRozan. I basically did a swap for DeAndre Jordan straight up. And the thing about that though was in previous 2K, it would basically display like the star value of the player. In this one, it gave DeAndre Jordan one star and DeMar DeRozan four, and the Spurs accepted it. So I'm not really sure if that's because they, the stars mean like they really want to trade the guy. I don't really know. Maybe it was a glitch, but it worked, and I don't have Trayvon to ride on. Um, so I thought that was pretty, pretty intriguing that that actually worked. We signed a new head coach. I didn't want uh, Luke Walton on the team anymore because I feel like his ratings weren't that great. So definitely this team that we constructed, um, basically some LA homebound bloods, crips, no. uh, basically it's pretty sweet. And then we simulated and we went 16-22, LeBron James was the MVP, he had a really good season. I think this, yeah, his 18th season, we'd be 36, so basically he spent half his life in the, in the NBA, I guess training and all that. For the most part, I mean, not about you know, he spent a long time. This guy was a rookie, 86 overall. Um, like I said, the don't really use draft classes, I can't yet. Uh, Dennis Schroeder won three six man of the year awards, Kawhi Leonard, defense player of the year. Most Bruce Malik marketing coach of the year was Steve Kerr once again. I mean, his team is just really filthy, even though Demarcus Cousins went to the Dallas Mavericks. I was trying to figure out where he went, and I didn't, uh, in the video, I didn't, I forgot. I was checking out Porzingis because I'm a Knicks fan, so it's good to see that he's averaging 28 points, 9 rebounds. Hopefully he can actually do that in real life. That would be really cool. Lonzo Ball made uh, all NBA third team this season. He had a really good year. His shooting never really took off. Like, granted, he is you know he's still young here. Like, he'd still maybe develop a little bit of a better jump shot. His three point shot became you know a little above average, which is pretty nice, but. Other than that, I mean, we didn't really have uh, many other options in terms of uh, developing young people. We had actually a few good players, so I can't really complain about that. <laughs> um, right now, it's actually 3 o'clock. Uh, I've spent literally an hour and a half, I guess. Not really an hour and a half. 
something along those lines trying to record and set everything up and basically just me just showing off the stats it's kind of weird seeing that DeMar DeRozan and Paul George didn't put up that many points but then you got to remember we have Kyle Kuzma, Alonzo Ball and all these other good guys and then uh yeah then that that was our starting center he, he was our starting center so we kind of had a little bit of a weak spot there we didn't really have a good center I mean I could have started JaVale McGee I don't know why I don't know why NBA uh 2K didn't do that. They wanted to start that other guy. To each their own. Um, like I said, I don't even, I've never even heard of him. I don't know who he is. Oh man, I'm really tired. <laughs> so, so, basically we go into the playoffs with the second seed taking on Phoenix. And if I remember correctly, I decided to simulate the round. And we ended up winning in six. Yep. And then be playing against the Houston Rockets, the three seed. And then I took it game by game. And for some reason, we ended up sweeping them. I think we swept them. Yep, we swept them. So then after that, we're taking on the Golden State Warriors. Now, this was an interesting series. And then I saw that Charlotte was the number two seed. And I was like, who is on Charlotte? And then I saw their team, and I'm like, why is this team a number two seed? Because they really don't look like a number two seed. Let's be honest here. So I go game by game out of respect, because I didn't want to get swept. And we won game one. We won game two. And then we win game three. So we're up 3-0. So you think we're going to sweep? Okay, they got one. So let's do a gentleman sweep. All right, 3-2. Not great. And then they tied it up. So I'm in here thinking, please don't blow a 3-0 lead. And we didn't. We won in seven. Taking on the Bucks, who have the GOAT, Giannis on Tentacumpo. So uh, I checked out their team, and they ended up having a decent team, but I felt like they were beatable. Um, I, yeah, I was looking to see where DeMarcus Cousins, because at the time I didn't know where he was. He was on Dallas. and see that. And I was going through the awards. They got DeJounte Murray, Jabari Parker, they brought him back, and then they had this guy. They had an okay team, but like I thought our team was better, and I thought the Warriors were better. So I'm not really sure. Um, like you, I mean, you'll see the video. I don't want to spoil it, but I mean, I kind of already did. Uh, like I said, I recorded this already, and I'm a little upset that the audio didn't work, but hopefully in future videos this won't happen. I'll just keep my microphone plugged in, and then every time I open up Audacity, because that's the thing, it was like an Audacity thing. I plugged in my mic, and it didn't recognize it. We ended up losing to the Bucks in five games, and Giannis Antetokounmpo ended up being your finals MVP, most valuable player. So, and then I basically just rambled on saying how, I don't even remember what I said. <laughs> I actually don't even remember what I said. I might have said, uh... A, a boopity boppity. Um, <laughs> who knows? But uh, other than that, I mean, definitely expect more videos from NBA 2K19 on PC. I'll try to do maybe some what ifs, like maybe make some players. Like I would like some fun what ifs, like what if Jesus Christ was in the NBA, stuff like that. If you guys want to see it, let me know. Subscribe, put in the comments. Definitely gonna do more rebuilds. Gonna try to figure out NBA Live 19 if I can do that. If not, um, we'll figure it out at home. For sure, I want to do Smash when that comes out. I didn't really want to do Mario Pair Tennis. But anyways, video's getting too long. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.